Hello people, in this video let us look at this erythrocyte sedimentation rate. Basically it is a non-specific screening test. It's a blood test. They collect blood, mix it with anticoagulant and then they fill it in these tubes. Okay. They fill it in these tubes. Okay. And after one hour they will check the height would have reduced. Why? Because the blood would have settled down the RBCs. So this is sedimentation. And in case there is a disease or uh, inflammation, this blood will settle down faster. Okay, so that is what you have to understand. So the RBCs will completely sediment faster if there is infection, inflammation or cancer or uh, pregnancy, it will settle down faster. Okay. So basically what are the tubes used? The tubes used are... Um, Wintrope's tubes or Vestigrin's uh, pipette right Vestigrin's pipette is a really long one Wintrope's tube will be a little smaller one you can use them basically they just fill it and leave it to stand okay for an hour let us see so what happens in male look at this um, these values okay Wintrope 0 to 6 millimeter female 0 to 15 millimeter in one hour it should fall this much okay there is more fall in female okay so ESR will be higher in females so let us look at let us look let us look at the causes of ESR increased ESR okay so just look at this the causes of increased ESR first of all look at the main headings here infections inflammations myocardial infarction that is heart attack cancer malignancy Paraproteinemias like multiple myeloma, technical problems, lab created problems. Okay, leave that. Then others can be pregnancy, anemia, etc. Okay, pregnancy, anemia, renal disease. Okay, oral contraceptives. Oh, oral contraceptives also. So, anyways, now let us look at the details. What and all should we know? Right. So, let us look at all these diseases. So under infections, you should know rheumatic fever. Okay. Under infections, rheumatic fever. Under inflammation, rheumatoid arthritis. Okay. Rheumatic fever, rheumatoid arthritis. Systemic lupus erythematosus, inflammatory SLE. Don't forget SLE. SLE, the ESR will be high. Okay. Then tuberculosis in infection. Don't forget that. Okay. So here infections, what and all you will say? Rheumatic fever, tuberculosis. This much you can remember. Let's read the other. Osteomyelitis, bacterial endocarditis, something related to rheumatic fever only you can remember. Bacterial endocarditis, pyogenic arthritis. So bacteria caused again. Pelvic inflammatory disease. Then uh, tuberculosis, acute hepatitis. Okay. That will be viral. So, this much did you understand? Infections. So, infections that you should remember. Rheumatic fever, bacterial endocarditis, uh, that is acute rheumatic fever, I think, bacterial endocarditis, pyogenic arthritis, tuberculosis, acute hepatitis, osteomyelitis, pelvic inflammatory disease. So, those are the infections. Mainly, you should remember what? Acute rheumatic fever and uh, tuberculosis at least two examples you can remember inflammatory remember rheumatoid arthritis systemic lupus erythematosus okay then uh, remember uh, what else just let's read the others temporal arteritis polymyalgia rheumatica okay okay leave that so at least you have learnt uh, these many examples in infection and inflammation now let us move to Acute myocardial infarction. In a myocardial infarction, the ESR will be elevated. Okay. This is these are all the causes of elevation, right? Increased sedimentation rate. That means the RBCs are settling down faster. Okay. Then malignancy. So after myocardial infarction, malignancy. Because it's nothing but cancer. Right. So basically, this is a non-specific test. It can be any reason all right then coming to the next thing guys we are moving on okay <clears throat> para proteinemia para proteinemias let us look at this the main thing you have to know here is multiple myeloma cryoglobinemia 
Walden storms macroglobinemia. Okay, if you have heard that, you can remember that. Basically, don't forget multiple myeloma. Basically, it is a cancer of what? The bone marrow, right? So, there you will have Ben's Johns proteins, etc. So, multiple myeloma, you should not forget. Rheumatic fever, rheumatoid arthritis, SLE, tuberculosis, multiple myeloma. All these ESR will be elevated. Then coming to technical problems. Okay, let's move on to technical problems. Now, technical problems <clears throat> that is in the lab, lab created problems, these will be. So, increased temperature, they have tilted the tube, all this. Okay, fine. We don't care much about that. We'll say that these things will not happen. Then, coming to others. Others will be like pregnancy. Here, ruptured ectopic pregnancy. That will be kind of an emergency, isn't it? Anemia. So, anemia, you remember, guys. Anemia is a very common condition also. So, anemia, ESR is high. Why is ESR high in anemia? Let's check that. Okay, here is some explanation that the hematocrit is reduced. Yes, obviously, okay. The velocity is altered. The RBCs aggregate fall faster. Okay. Okay, so one thing that we, they are telling here is anemia ESR is more, but if it is sickle cell anemia, the ESR will be less. Okay, so we are continuing here. So we saw that in anemia, ESR is raised. Okay, what else are the uh, examples here they have given? Renal disease with azotemia, administration of dextran or oral contraceptives. Oral contraceptives, ESR will be more renal disease with azotemia. So, guys, um, azotemia is elevated levels of urea and other nitrogen components in the blood. So, where are we looking at? We are looking at this um, renal disease. Okay. So, we have seen that then. Okay. So, let us take a recap of what we have seen. So, in this video, we were trying to look at the causes for elevated ESR. So, we will mark the important ones here. So, the important ones are... Rheumatic fever, tuberculosis, rheumatoid arthritis, systemic lupus erythematosus, multiple myelo, myocardial infarction, malignancy, anemia, pregnancy. This much you can remember. Okay. Now, let us look at the causes of decreased ESR, though that is not very important. Look at this here. They have given the causes of decreased ESR here. Can you see here? ESR is decreased. ESR is decreased in polycythemia, congestive cardiac failure, dehydration, sickle cell anemia, hereditary spherocytosis and hypofibrinogenemia. Okay. Are you getting it? Okay. So, as a recap, in males, the reference range is what? Around 5, uh, five no, we will take Wintrop's. Males, it is 0 to 9 millimeter. So, actually, it is a slightly different between Vestigrin and um, Wintrop. Okay, guys. So, anyways, just look at this. So, in female, 0 to 20 is same for Vestigrin and Wintrope. For male, it is 0 to 15, 0 to 9. Okay. In children, it will be even lesser. That means it will not sediment very fast in children. Isn't it? So, for female, 20, if you remember, that should be enough, right? 20. And for females, it's higher. So, this is the Vestigrin ESR stand. Okay. With the, they have put three tubes here. And you can see... Uh, this one has completely sedimented the third one, right? So basically, what and all is there here? The uh, the anticoagulant that they use are trisodium citrate. Okay, trisodium citrate. So you can remember that they are not using or anything. It's just kept to stand. Okay. There is um, yet another terminology called as micro ESR. So, they use capillary blood instead of venous blood, right? They use capillary blood and uh, 
this is more suitable in small children so if you remember trisodium citrate is which color cap blue color right so it is used the mode of action of it is chelation of calcium so it will not let the blood clot so it will be used for esr by westigren's method so now can you see the factors which affect esr now it is easy for us to say isn't it okay so anemia pregnancy okay high temperature tilting of tube then macrocytosis where when will this be inflammation infection okay old age also increases esr guys actually macrocytosis they are referring to macrocytic anemia only okay so so this actually macrocytosis is macrocytosis here is actually macrocytic anemia okay so but they have written anemia here but anyways macrocytosis pregnancy old age technical factors elevated fibrinogen so basically this elevated fibrinogen means blood will clot faster so it will settle down when will this happen when will a person's blood clot faster so basically increase in fibrinogen and even if acute phase proteins like c reactive proteins haptoglobin seroplasmins alpha 1 antitrypsin if these are more also it, the uh, esr can get affected guys uh, let us look at the stages of esr also here okay so stages of esr are formation of rolex that means the rbcs will be like this all the rbcs will stack up right rolex formation so that is the first thing the formation of rolex or it is called as lag phase it's for 10 minutes the red still uh, stack together like a pack of coins so the esr mainly depends on this stage that's what this stage here that is stage 1 rolex formation the lag phase stage 2 it is called as sinking of the rolex now this rolex will sink it is also called as decantation phase for 40 minutes this will happen this is rapid and constant sedimentation the longer the tube the longer is the stage okay stage 3 packing of rolex so the rolex which has sunk right sunk now it will pack okay packing of rolex slow sedimentation so rapid sedimentation then slow sedimentation happens in the end so can we recap this okay let's recap okay so what and all we learnt in this esr esr stages right stage 1 is the lag lag where the rolex formation happens it's a very small phase then stage 2 is the longest where there is a rapid sedimentation the rolex sinks then stage 3 is where the rolex are uh, what was that word wait the rolex were packing packing of rolex 10 minutes so the longest is what stage 2 it's the rapid sedimentation <clears throat> the rolex will sink down okay so don't forget to thank gravity right it's all happening because of gravity also okay guys so in this video we looked at esr what esr is erythrocyte sedimentation rate e is what erythrocyte the rbc rbc is nothing but erythrocyte sedimentation rate so for male it should be normally 0 to 10 or 0 to 15 depending on the tube female they are constant 0 to 20 they are saying for children it will be less than all this okay then where in all is it increased give all the examples it is increased in acute rheumatic fever tuberculosis all other bacterial infections you can mention then rheumatoid arthritis it is more then where else sle sle very good sle it is more then malignancy then myocardial infarction acute myocardial infarction mi then what else uh, did we see we saw some other conditions like lab problems and other conditions we saw pregnancy anemia right renal disease etc
yeah so i forgot multiple myeloma right forgot multiple myeloma that's all right oral contraceptives also old age also old age also increases esr okay that's all for now in this video guys we'll meet you in the next video bye bye